It's a bit congested. What we need to do, so we have two more rounds in the Moto America series this year, Indianapolis and Laguna. So before we make the trek out that far, we're pretty much gonna tear the whole bike down. I'm gonna put a different motor in, we'll go back to the A motor, I'm gonna resurface the head, you know, try to plane it, hopefully don't blow another head gasket on that. And then re-grease the linkage, the head bearings, clean the whole damn thing, you know, clean up anything that's out of place. And that way, when we get all the way out to Laguna, we know the bike's in better condition. Yes. Cool. So I did this a couple days ago. And I've done nothing since. Been super lazy. I'm sorry. What we need to do is get the A motor back in. I'm gonna plane the um, head just because it blew a head gasket. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get it a little flatter. Um, and then I'm gonna inspect the slipper clutch, move the slipper clutch over, flywheel over. And Well, as you can see, two things that aren't good is two of my clutch springs backed out. Um, that's interesting. I thought the bike felt a little weird to launch at Barber. So there's part of it. Um, then I'm just gonna take all the plates out and then see how the plates look worn and then the pressure plate and the hubs, see how they're worn and then we'll swap them over to the other motor. So on this sliver clutch, unlike the old ones, this is steel. Now, if this were the old aluminum one, this would probably be almost worn out by now. But since we're lucky and these are now made with steel, um, the wear is not bad. Um, let me see, actually, where's where the fibers were versus not. Um, we're not running into any um, other issues like the old ones sometimes the inner hub would rub the plate you'd have other wear weird wear i don't see any of that so that is all good so to pull off the hub right after there's this uh locking washer so i kind of get started by hitting with a flathead and a hammer and then i'll put on the 27 mil socket and then i'll hit the socket with the hammer and that'll flatten it and then we'll just hit it with an impact to, to get it off Crazy. Yeah, so I'll have to salt the flywheel back over to the motor, um, the seal retainer behind the counter shaft, and the sensor here. 17 mil. And then we got our Motion Pro tool, which is just a uh, M20 bolt and 22 millimeter socket, threaded just like a little bit. And then you just smack it with the impact. And if it doesn't come out, then you heat up the inner side with the, uh, a torch, but this should come right out. So, 
while you are got this off, we can see here that this, it's hard to tell, but right there, this is the crank bearing, and you can see how there's two halves that make up a crank bearing, and you see how this one side is in, you can kind of see there, it means it's walking in towards, and it looks like it's walked pretty far, so it's probably rubbing the crank at this point, um, so I probably shouldn't use this motor until I get that out and press in a new bearing and I'll probably peen the cases then so it doesn't walk. There we go. Jump. So, I'm just gonna clean up this piston. Clean up the cylinder head here. Put her back together, get her in the bike. You know the spiel. So what we're gonna do is, obviously this, I wish this was a lot bigger, um, but you need a, something that's dead flat. So this is a piece of uh, granite countertop that is flat. We tape a piece of, this is um, 400 grit, we'll go 400 grit, 600 grit. You just do like tiny uh, circles or figure eights and try to get just the, the head a little smoother um, since we don't really have time to take it to a shop and have it planed. So then when you're done, your head looks much better. Um, and then between that and then doing, you know, the cylinder, and then there's another thing I'm going to do, which I didn't do on that um, gasket you saw come out of there, um, but spray this stuff on it. Um, even if it's a brand new gasket, uh, me and a lot of other guys, we do this. Uh, this, this copper spray gasket it just helps it seal. Um, and, you know, I do one light coat and then one or two heavier coats. And so when you're doing what I was going to say before the camera died is when you coat it with the copper spray, you can see it here and then you, you might see like runs. It's almost like rust is maybe dripping down. Like once you've run the motor and maybe like some brake cleaner, you know, so when that oil gets on that and it's going to drip a little bit, don't be alarmed. It's just the copper spray kind of running down. It has, obviously it's not going to run now, but uh, yeah, the head's back on. I didn't wait for the camera to be charged to do all that. Um, someone thought they were funny and wrote, Sam is G. Hay. Not really sure what G. Hay is, but hopefully it's a good thing. One quick thing is um, this clutch push rod seal. I had to yank it out of this motor and put it in this motor at the ridge. This was bent when I threw a chain at Pittsburgh and then somehow I did the race and everything, but at the ridge it started leaking. Um, so we need to put this on and to do that we're just gonna you're gonna put some grease around this and you're just gonna push it in by hand and you want it to kind of be flush with the outside of this because let's see, this is, um, right there is a little oil port hole so if you push the seal in too far you'll clog or fill up that oil hole and like that and then there's that retain retainer plate we got put on here still and then that will obviously stops it from popping out now it may sound stupid but I only put in these two I don't put this one in because if you have to take this cover off with like the stator cover on you can't you can't actually really get to that bolt so I only do these two oh whoa Somehow it just got together, but we're in, running, I think. Yes. 
take a moment and look how beautiful the Roboam engineering subframe is. Freddy there did an unbelievable job on this thing. Oh, dang. Oh, we also uh, got a new sleeve from M4. Thanks, Kyle Martin over at M4 for sending over a new sleeve. I think we might retire this thing after the year. I don't know what to do. Um, we had Barber, which was, is a very interesting weekend. I uh, started off felt amazing. I was on tires from 2018, but uh, I think I did better than a better lap time than what I did at all last year. And going the Q1, we put on a new front, had tons and tons of chatter, which was weird. Not really. I mean, for Q2, it was much better once the tire had a heat cycle in it. And then race one, put on front, new tires, front and rear, tons of chatter front and rear, and then going to race two, I knew it was gonna be better. It, we're still some chatter. I kind of maybe need to have two heat cycles in the tires to remove the chatter, even after like playing with pressures and going up in pressures. Um, but it was a good weekend. Happy with lap times, a lot of 34s, which used to be fast, not anymore apparently. Indy this weekend, almost the entire grid of twins has not been there. I think Hayden Schultz is the only one there's 37 entries, so I think one out of 37 has been there. Um, and then Laguna after that, um, my bike may stay out there. And then that's what I'll race on the West Coast next year. If it comes back, I think I might just retire it or sell it. I don't know. Because um, Devin got a third gen and I have another second gen. So we'll build up both of those and I'll decide which one to focus on to ride for next year and then maybe have a second bike for guest rides, rentals, or a second rider. We'll figure that part out, but now on to Indy.